on the issue of patriots governing Hong Kong, the director of Hong Kong Macau Affairs Office, Xia Baolong, said Hong Kong's administrative, legislative, and uh, judicial branches must not be taken up by um, anyone who goes against China and disrupts Hong Kong. But he also said it doesn't mean that uh, you will ban all opposition members from Hong Kong's government. So what exactly did he mean? It's norm in all countries in the world and in all places uh, constituting uh, the various countries in the world, uh, patriots governing uh, either the local place or on the national level must be the norm. Now, what are uh, patriots? Let's see who are not the patriots. In the past couple of years in Hong Kong, we have seen people who dashed off, not once, but several times, regularly, to, for example, uh, Washington DC, asking the United States government to sanction Hong Kong and the whole of China. Now, whatever the definition of patriot is, I think we can define the non-patriots, people who have this unpatriotic uh, behavior, uh, pretty clearly. In many other countries in the world, these actions could be described as treasonous. These are acts of treason. So these are not patriots and they should not form part of the governing body of Hong Kong. According to critics, such a prohibition will expand uh, mainland curbs on Hong Kong's democracy. What do you think? Uh, Hong Kong is not a sovereign country. We are part of China. Uh, acts that, that are uh, not far from being uh, treasonous uh, must be uh, dealt with. Um, and we're not talking about uh, punishing these uh, uh, people. We're just saying that they should not form part of the governing echelon, governing body of Hong Kong. Back in mid of 2020, when Beijing and Hong Kong officials enacted the national security law, there were criticism that China is asserting more power over Hong Kong, that Hong Kong people will lose freedom, that Hong Kong will see investors moving uh, capital to other markets. Well, it's been more than six months since the law took effect. In retrospect, was its impact on the city positive or negative? Uh, social stability has returned to uh, Hong Kong. Uh, we have dealt with uh, threats to national security and therefore in this new environment the Hong Kong SR government uh, can do what they uh, uh, are required to do to deal with, for example, um, economic issues, uh, to deal with uh, the challenges of uh, COVID-19 and um, if, if you look at uh, the number of cases that we have in the pandemic, we're actually doing a lot better than, for example, the United States and the uh, United Kingdom. Um, so this return uh, to a stable environment, which Hong Kong has always been. Have we seen capital move outside? Uh, there is no sign of that. The, the, the Hong Kong currency is, re is very strong. The stock market is doing very well. Uh, we now have, as a result of COVID-19, uh, unemployment issues, but that's being uh, addressed. We are not the only community on this planet. If we compare all the social and economic uh, indicators to other advanced jurisdictions in, in, uh, on, on this planet, uh, we're doing well.